is Lagos. Aguegu is located on the mainland, Hyderabad, the community. You can dare to say the ordinary men and women are self-sufficient. With a population of over 5,000, most residents of Agoegu hail from Badagri local government area of the state and have since made the slum their home, notwithstanding its lack of basic amenities. Orukwamene, Francis Ajagu, Prati Bariga, Agoegu, Emine Shaman Bariga, Fishermen and Women. There can be in Koto be at in Jewansi. A cocony hospital. Ekajini school. But he are near school and near hospital. But it is a more about school. A Moka Kilewa. A Mate de Walosi, CMS alone. I won't be your Duman, Holy Cross, Titi. Boya Motu Magbabi Kini, on Latoria and Sofunja Banik, good job. Hold on, Waro, I need a school. A Lua was sweet to go Joko Hypoa. Titele Tele, you bear to one bay. You know, Minitele. But to Bella Jagin to one bay or for two jardine. On local school, you need a curriculum to one bay on local sea. On Luja Bay, I arrive a jardine. Our loss of salmon. Yao Wano, Yao Walumboa, Ejati Water Mampa, a man called Fu Yao Wan, Omalota, but a man dog mo, Fija Mutele, but taking near the Shelley, a Ruby Congolamo, a more or less cool mo, a Ruby Fija, but along this year, young chap, but in Kodoja Ibarelua, Lavis or Nisa. The residents live shoulder to shoulder with the growing heaps of refuse haphazardly dumped in every corner of the community. A visible sight of garbage and waste, sewage leakages, the odious stench is an unpleasant but inevitable welcome. In spite of this, life goes on as normal for these children as they play about. the community lacks functional toilet system. Inhabitants wait till night time to openly defecate in the black murky water located somewhere within the community. The toilets are built right on the lagoon and the waste adds to the floating debris in the lagoon. So, so, so <laughs> Access to portable drinking water is difficult. Despite living close to the lagoon, Aguegu residents buy water from a popularly known as Merua, 
According to some residents, when Meroa does not bring water, the community suffers. These dwellers who live in shacks built on stilts lack health care centre. My name is uh, Moses Changoloke. So I was uh, born and brought up in this community. I'm an athlete. So this community is a Goigu community, which is under threat of eviction now. So we are lacking many things in this community. So this community, we don't have a school. So we don't have a clinic. We don't have a good water. We don't have a toilet, public toilet. We are lacking many things in this community. So, like issue of water now, we used to buy water from a Aboki Malam, that drug pusher. So that is where we used to get our water. So and we need the water in this community. The difficulty associated with access to other basic services is a nightmare, especially for pregnant women and people who have emergencies. Residents of the community say they trek miles to get access to health care centers in Bariga and CMS. Pregnant women in Agwegu give birth at home with the help of traditional